Turtle health and care. Skin and shell. As turtle tortoise keepers, you may have seen this product on your shelves of your local pet store, from word of mouth, or seen it in various media on the World Wide Web. The product I'm talking about is known as Vita Shell. Vita Shell is a name coined by the company Tetrafauna, but there are similar products in the market with the same makeup. All of them are bad for your turtle. What the product claims. Vita Shell boasts that its waxy cream rejuvenates, moisturizes, and strengthens the shell, skin, and nails of turtles and tortoises alike. The surface glance, the vast majority of consumers are not chemists, nor do they have any advanced knowledge of chemicals and how they react with one another. With that being said, this is a key problem that allows products like Vita Shell to be catered to the general consumer. The ingredients. The positive, these are the only ingredients inside that can have any benefit on the use of turtles if used separately. Purified soft water, used as hydrating and moisturizing. Sunflower oil, contains vitamin E and antioxidants. Coconut oil, highly absorbent and anti-inflammatory properties. Soybean oil contains vitamins A and E, but only in the forms that can be absorbed through the mouth. So therefore, it's useless as a cream. However, by being combined with the soon-to-be-mentioned waxes and bonding agents, any vitamins and other beneficial properties will be blocked thanks to the nature of the aforementioned compounds, rendering the oils to nothing more than lubricants. And now the negative. Various waxes and synthetic compounds make up the paste of the product. None of them are good for turtles. Emulsifying wax, NF, a waxy compound used to bond water and oil together. The NF in the word is just merely a standard used by chemists for the, for the compound. It is made up of the following. Citriol alcohol, it's a known irritant. Polysorbate 60, linked to reproductive disorders and formation of tumors. PG150 stearate, known carcinogen as well as reproductive developmental toxicant. Stearate 20 can be laced with 1,4-dioxine, a product of cosmetics and is toxic. Citral alcohol, another synthetic wax used to thicken. Pie oil, alternate name for phenyloxanol, originally used as a preservative to combat microbes. It turned out to affect reproduction and is a neurotoxin. Glyscargine, produced commercially as a byproduct of petroleum, used as an industrial lubricant. Lanolin, a wax derived from a sheep's sebaceous gland, used both as a lubricant and adhesive. Cottonseed oil, the non food grade version of the oil contains gossypol, a natural toxin. It's used in this as a lubrication. Food grade versions do, however, have a refining process that does get rid of the natural toxin. But being as this is not a regulated product, it's not certain whether or not it's food grade or not. To sum it all up, Vita shell not only contains many synthetic compounds that are not healthy for any living animal, but also negates any possible boon the organic compounds we give. Since Vita shell is not a food product, there are no current regulations or guidelines that the companies have to follow, and thus they can add anything they desire. Gives you something to think about. So what can I use, you ask? For aquatics and semi-aquatics, you do not need to use anything at all. 
with a proper diet, clean, chemical-free water system, the right substrate, and UVB lighting, your turtle will thrive as it is intended. For those of you that own terrestrial turtles and tortoises and would like to pamper them the same way as one would uh, like a dog or a cat, they are natural, safe alternatives. First up is sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is good when used alone. It still gives a shine and the vitamin E and antioxidants are easily absorbed through the shell and skin. For the purpose of hydrating and nourishing keratin, sunflower oil does its job pretty well. The only downside to this oil is that the viscosity is among the highest of the botanical oils. When used generously, the oil can be a mess and will cause the turtle's substrate to stick to it. It can be quite messy. With the need to clean excess good, uh, it can't be stressed enough when using it. But being na all natural, it's it's still very good compared to leadership. Now the best of the best, argan oil. Since Maggie is the oldest of my turtles, I'm going to use her to demonstrate the application of this oil. Her shell is worn through decades of abrasion, so she has the most to gain from this. So what makes argan oil so special? Uh, aside from being from an endangered tree, it has all the benefits of sunflower oil, plus more and with zero mess. Uh, the viscosity is so low and absorption rate is so high, there is nearly no residue left. Fatty acids account for four-fifths of argan oil. It contains vitamin E, lipid compounds derived from fatty acids, carotenoids, polyphenols, acids, and antioxidants. All these compounds have different characteristics and are useful individually in a unique way. These compounds are useful in many ways from the reparation of DNA to protect from ultraviolet radiation. <sighs> I know this has been a very long video, but hopefully this helps in making you more aware of what can be in the products used for your shell companions. Signing out.